I think they force you to take the bullets in the beginning, honestly. Because they're just going to give you more bullets, and then they're just going to chew up the spot. And you might as well have them. But yeah, when you end up beating the game on normal, it's like you got like 50 grenade rounds, you got like 25 magnum bullets, like 70 pistol bullets. You got like 30 shotgun shells. It's like, come on. Okay, um, do I go through here? Okay, so the sword key opens the top here as well. Oh, I don't have the, uh, that kind of stinks. With a gun, but I have nothing to confirm that. Oh, yo, they put them right there? Alright, so I gotta check this again. Maybe that was just like a random spawn point. In uh, old school video games, they would give a guy like a random chance to spawn at like three different locations and based on like the spawn spot. You might be able to get by, you might not be able to. No, okay, so there's like no getting by that guy. Not from this angle. Yeah, there's, it, it's not, it's not likely. I just want to see what he looks like when he comes at me. If he's like a direct shot, it's like, yeah. I might have been able to sneak by him on the side, but I just don't think it's worth it. So you guys are going to see why in a second. I didn't really want to go this way. Oh yeah, and this is what I was telling you about earlier. This guy is trapped behind this box. Frank's not intelligent enough to know how to climb that box, which is good for us. So he, he'll be showing himself in like a second, but yeah, you can see him right there. I don't really feel like actually sticking around though. I can't, oh, I cannot remember. Oh my God, really? I'm very upset about this. I am about, oh! <laughs> oh God, I love this freaking game so much. I absolutely love this game. In my opinion, best survival horror since the original um, Resident Evil 1. Dead Space 1. First time I went through Dead Space 1, I couldn't believe how good of the game, how just how good the game was overall. It was amazing. There we go. Yeah, Dead Space had um, the necromorphs in the very first scene. You're already on life support. People are just getting executed like crazy. The game is just so over the top. It's impossible. So if, you, if you're a survival horror fan, it's impossible not to like Dead Space. It's literally just top notch. Uh, is this sword key too? Yeah, see, that's the stuff Jill can get into. Where you like you, you get punished on the guy's file, but you don't get punished um, on the girl's file. Okay, let's see. We pretty much have to go on all these doors. Doesn't look like this has been serviced in a while. Okay, what do we got here? Full of dirty water. Remove the plug. We all know I'm removing the plug. This guy's a scumbag. 
He's gonna eat me, isn't he? I don't think I have a gun equipped. Alright, hold up. So I gotta, like... Actually, no. Walk up to him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good, good. I don't need to actually shoot him. I almost wasted, like, ten bullets. That would have been ridiculous. Alright. Let's see. Okay, so this was a simple lock right out here, right? Yeah, that was a simple lock outside. Uh... Do I need that immediately is the question. Because if I go across, I think that was also a simple lock right next to that typewriter item box. And then I can get an item that I need that I know I need relatively soon. Hmm. Okay. Well, how many slots do I have? Three. This is really debatable if I should do this or not right now, but I'm going to. Okay, so now we're down an old key. And we're outside, exactly where we probably... I'm on the run. Oh yeah, this is exactly where we don't want to be. Like, literally. I'm gonna... Okay, hold up. Let's take the gun off so we get some speed here. Alright, so they're coming at me right now. You can hear that when the dogs start panting, it means they're, like, ready to kill you. When you combine a red herb with a green herb, it gives you uh, full health automatically. There we go. So I don't. I'm curious how they did that. If that's uh, a trigger when you grab the uh, the plant. Uh, what is this called right here? Chemical to use on plants. Chemical agent. Herbicide. Okay, so when you grab the herbicide, I wonder if it's a trigger so the dogs know to attack you, or if it's a duration where they count how long you're outside before they spawn to attack you. Oh! That was, that was phenomenal. Actually, I don't think that mattered. That was good that I went outside now, so I don't have to be around that guy anymore. Scumbag. Uh, okay, where are we right now? Yeah, we're, go we're going through here. Gets up. Oh. I got nervous. Okay, so he's gone. He's a goner. All right, so this is what I was talking about before. You go down like this. Oh, let's go! That's what I'm talking about. Oh my lord! I don't think there was three of them last time, was there? Here, let's see if I can milk them. You can do you can do a little technique here. Well, there's two techniques. One is aim up here. Bugging out. The old pathfinding AI is not the best. Dude, what do we got? Hussein Bolt over here? That guy's like sprinting at me. Alright, let's see. Okay, so I think the uh, percentage chance of getting a headshot when you aim up when the zombie comes at you is higher, but I'm not 100% on that. Um, here, let's heal up. There's no point having this green herb on me. All right. 
nearly positive. But the trick I was going to show you before is that if you have a zombie die on top of another zombie, um, you can potentially burn them. We're going to learn about burning right now, actually. So we don't need the health. We'll keep the bullets on us. So this is a fuel canteen and you put fuel inside of it. Uh, kerosene, to be exact. There we go, good. And the kerosene allows you to burn the bodies, and if you burn them or decapitate the zombies, they don't come back to life later on in the game. So that's kind of the whole issue, is that if you kill them, you need to make sure that you dispose of them properly. Otherwise, you end up creating this terrible environment later in the game that really bites you. Okay, so, um... So yeah, you get four uses. So this thing is uh, completely dried up now. There's no kerosene left in that. Uh, where are we at here? All right, okay. Well, I think first things first is what well, we're gonna get rid of the kerosene right now. I'm gonna try to reduce the amount of times I have to save too, especially if I'm gonna be in front of people. It's a green herb, that's good. I don't know why he's not picking it up. Extra narrow collider on that one. So this is uh, another th reason why I love this game. It doesn't make any actual sense, but like you inspect this and it says an unlit fireplace. And it and you clearly look at the picture above the fireplace and it looks like a, like a map. It looks like an indentation of a map. So I forgot that I there was a key region I needed to show you what I actually meant there. So we're going to get that region and we're going to come back to this room. And then you'll, you'll see what they do. It doesn't make sense, but it's still awesome. Actually, you know, it's a different file. Maybe this door works. No, okay. So we got another defensive item, which is nice, but I feel like the amount of crawlies are starting to accumulate on us. We need to start dodging. I can dodge this guy. Let's go. But I missed what I actually needed from him, which... I think they're faster on hard, too. They're, these guys are, like, sprinting at me. Okay. Let me make sure this room's clear. Botany, uses of medicinal herbs. It is a well-known fact that there exist many plants that are credited with medicinal healing powers. Since ancient times, mankind has been healing wounds and diseases using various plants. In this book, we will sample three herbs that are native of the Arclay Mountains and briefly outline each of their medicinal qualities. Each herb has a distinct color and a distinct medicinal quality. Um, the green herb recovers physical strength. The blue herb neutralizes natural toxins. However, the red herb has no real effect by itself. We have found that mixing green and red herbs result in a magnified effect. We will outline the effects of red herbs when mixed with other herbs when we have more data. Meanwhile, feel free to experiment on your own, for true knowledge is only acquired through experience. Um, I find this interesting that they said that they're native to the Arclay Mountains. And then you play like Resident Evil 5 and you're like, 
in Africa somewhere, and it's like, why are, why are we still getting these herbs if they're native to the Arclay Mountains? What the hell is that? Alright, let's get this guy. A crumpled memo. Today, Sir Spencer told me to hide something where no one could find it. Well, I had this idea. I figured if I could somehow have it protected by a dangerous animal like the vicious canine that lives here, no one would be able to get near it. As far as I can tell, the mutt is always hanging around the second floor balcony on the west side of the terrace, and he ought to come running at the sound of a dog whistle. This is where you come in. The thing is, I reckon you're the only person that can get near the damn dog without having to risk a serious mauling. Which means only you can put this collar on him. The object that Sir Spencer wants hidden is concealed inside. You're the only person I can trust with this. Of course, you'll get something out of it as well. Remember that certain item that you've always wanted to get hold of? Well, in exchange for your services, I just might be able to get it for you. This could work out well for both of us. John Tolman. Okay, and we got some pistol bullets here. Alright, so they're hooking up the ammo more than I expected on hard, which is, which is good. And actually, the health isn't too bad either. They're allowing me to get bit a few times. Uh, where does this take me? Right outside. Okay, because I missed I missed the item that I actually needed, which was super stupid. Right here. I'm, they're gonna force me to have to dodge this guy again. Because he's like right on me. There we go. Yeah, that movement speed, they at least increased that 20%. Alright, so what do I have? I need to get rid of the dog whistle, but I can still use this board, actually. So I've never examined this board before, because I've always just known what to do with it. I'm going to examine it and see what it actually says. I'm quite, I'm curious about this. Let's see. Wooden mount. What are they? They have, like, hinges on it. That's really stupid. Okay, I was hoping that would just shoot it to the other side. So somehow burning a large piece of wood has allowed me to get the map of the second floor. And the room is now clear. 100% items means the room is totally figured out. So we're good here. I want to see if this door is... Okay. Armor key. I feel like they could have done a slightly better job mixing and matching the levels. Like, because I feel like that was the same thing on Jill's file. They really didn't need to have that be the same. Um, yeah, we're going to walk through the upstairs here, even though I really don't want to. If I do that, does that happen? That would be ridiculous. Okay. So we're we're big time on the run here. Big time on the run. All right, let's go. Oh come on, he's right there. Is there another guy right here? No. Oh, that's so whack. That's so whack. I think you need the armor key for this door. Yeah, okay. 
just the paintings here. I want to go, I want to be a little developer-esque right here. Just the attention to detail in this game is so good. This is what makes me fall in love with a game versus other games is like just a painting on the wall, an oil painting in a large frame. And you look at it and it just looks, it just looks ridiculous. And also, I think the, the glass reflection is really good too. Like, look at that. You can see your guy in the glass walking past it. It's just amazing. Alright. Uh, we don't have an old key. We have the sword key, but we don't have an old key right now. I actually don't know what to do. Alright, so... Pretty sure if we go into the basement right now, that would be a good plan. I think there's an old key in the basement. It's like the, literally the last place you want to go is the freaking basement. Uh, how many items do I have? I didn't put anything away. Ugh. Okay, so I can't... There's no point in going somewhere in this game if you have too many items on your guy because then you literally just can't grab something if you need it. That's another uh, distinct difference between the guy and the girl, is that they actually, let's see where he is, there he is. They actually give you two less item slots as the guy, so it makes you do a lot more item management when you play as Chris, which is frustrating, but it adds to the overall experience. And I think there's a, there's a setting, like extreme mode or real mode or something like that. Oh, this guy needs to burn. Actually, both these guys need to burn. Do I have kerosene on me? Okay, so both of those guys have to burn. This guy might come to life on me. Please don't come back to life. Yeah, these two need to die. I need to keep this area secure. Because this is like my safe haven. I always like making this area secure. 